this right here is something really special and hopefully we will be beating 60 mile an hour with this. <laughs> Alright people, so I got this package just in the mail. This right here is something really special and hopefully we will be beating 60 mile an hour with this. So this right here is a GP racing engine. This is an engine that has, well it's a really old school engine. It's Nova Rossi based, it's an off-road 0.21 and made in Italia. It's an Italian engine, it's really good. You, you guys have seen this engine before, this is actually Nick's used to be Nick's engine and he uh, ran it in the Inferno ST last time. But last time when he ran it, it did not have a lot of pinch left. It also did not make a lot of power. So uh, I bought it from him and I sent it to Rulof and I told them to uh, basically have fun with it. You know, let's make this an on-road screamer engine. Let's see how many RPMs it can take before it blows up. I mean, I paid 50 bucks for the whole entire process. You know, if it blows up, it blows up, but hopefully it's, it will look cool doing it on video. So I gave the engine to him, you know, to get modified. And I told him like, yeah, do an, do an on-road, make it an on-road screamer, let's see what it can do. And uh, well, he came back with this. Man, my man went, just went all in. He modified the crank, he modified the sleeve, he repinched the sleeve. And then he even went as far as to replace the entire, you know, button head this is the original button head it's a glow plug button head you know not not even you know that, that that's pretty good looking actually but uh, he replaced it and we now run a turbo head on it as well and you know all these modifications combined they transformed the engine from this into this So, I mean, you can understand that I'm very hyped to see what this will do in a buggy. So anyways, we're gonna open this thing up. We're gonna see what's inside and uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what he has done with it. So this is the old burn room with the shims on it. He actually uh, reshimmed the entire engine for me to fit the turbo head. The turbo head had a slightly different, uh, you know, design. Also, we got yet another Nova Rossi carburetor, as you guys can see right here. So it's always good because these are getting more rare by the day. And then he also gave me a works carburetor right here. This is from a, yeah, it says works right here on the front. I don't know where this came from, but this definitely looks like you know, something that maybe will fit on an LRP32 would be fun to try out. This is not a 9mm Venturi though, so I'm not a fan of that. And as for the other one, yeah, this definitely looks better. Whatever. I may, I may very well just give this to Nick because he, I know he has a works engine. Yeah. Also, we got some stickers. GP Racing. GP Racing. I mean, these are stickers that are look just completely discolored from being that old. So let's open up this bad boy and let's see what she got. All right, people, so this is going to be hard for me to record. I hope you guys can all see it. So here we got the GP engine fully unboxed. As you guys can see, it's fully in some pieces. Let's start first with, you know, the most special feature about this engine. It's using a Nova Rossi turbo head. It's no longer using a normal glow plug uh, button head. Um, he actually went as far as to fit a Nova Rossi turbo head on it and also reshim it where it properly you know works on this engine which in my opinion is really cool then we got the cylinder over here and man look at this look at this machining you guys have to remember Rulof is used to doing on-road engines so this is basically his most familiar terrain in terms of modifying as you guys can see he knows his way when it comes to modifying on-road engines and this is not even an on-road engine this is an off-road engine that he converted to an on-road engine as you guys can see he also cleaned up the piston because this was fully worn fully worn no compression left and it looks like new unfortunately you know made in italy but yeah this engine is already worn so yeah we're gonna just gonna do a couple speed runs with it hopefully we'll reach 60 mile an hour so here we got the crank which is also a lot of work as you guys can see right here in the corners he did some work right here he also did some work right here this looks well he definitely also shaved some up there I don't know if you guys can see it, but lightning is a bit bad. Also, fun fact, he actually created 
extra ports on the sleeve. As you guys can see right here, these two, these two ports right here on the side of the exhaust. I think these are not made. Yeah, you can see they're not the same. These are definitely handmade. You see that? That one is completely different from that one. So anyways, here we pinched it. Let's check out the pinch, shall we? Let's check out where the pinch is starting. Oh, okay, so it's already stopping right here. So that's definitely a lot of meat. That engine will last me at least like two gallons, three gallons at least. I mean, for a fully worn out engine, that's not bad at all. I don't know if you modified something about the block. This I don't like. I may very well swap this out because I do not like this front bearing. I like the shield, you know, the rubber shield that bearings more. I'm not a fan of this. I'm definitely not a fan of this. It's a three needle carburetor from the looks of it. And you know, since my OS also has a three needle carburetor, you know, I'm not really complaining. It works. We got a Novorossi carburetor on it as well. This is not a GP carburetor. So that's a good sign right here. And I mean, if you, if you look at these two pictures that uh, Luigi also sent me, this engine is basically completely the same as, you know, this Novorossi engine. Just the block has a different color and they removed the Novorossi from the side. And now it says GP. Now looking at the rule of thumbs speed run engine he pinched it for me the start as a 21 gp engine i already explained it earlier in this video start as a basic gp engine and he repinched it did the on-road modification and now it makes stupid rpm It, man finally i can hear myself talk again that's better that's better that was loud man this os pipe is stupid loud i am not sure if i can make this a separate video or i'm gonna tie this in but uh, anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoyed the gp21 engine uh, it's already a lot of fun i cannot wait to take this out very soon and uh, do a couple speed runs with it let's see what this thing got we are running the os speed 2095 on it to compensate for the lack of uh, torque, because it's an on-road timed engine, it's made for on-road basically, it modified it completely for on-road. So uh, thank you guys for the 765 subscribers at the moment of recording, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I think she's ready boys, this is the original idle setup, this is low idle, it just doesn't want to shut up man, what is this, this look, <laughs> it, it, it doesn't want to shut up.